Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of GenAI Vlog. In this episode, I'm going to be attempting to use a Mistral AI agent to run a portfolio over Pharma French four-factor model. So the punchline is to create a complete code-free environment, meaning that I do not need to write any single code. I can use natural language to talk to a chatbot to have the chatbot invoke an agent to write the code for me and to execute the code on my behalf. So with that being said, let's jump right in. So right in front of me, I'm in my Jupyter Hub. On the left-hand side, I have a couple of directories. I have data of which I have Pharma French 4.csv and that's the CSV I need to use. So copy path, all the data is in there. Now I go to my notebook and I run the chatbot. So I can talk to it starting from this box here. I say, I have a data in this directory, and then I paste the directory in there. I want a Python code to run a linear regression model using stats model package. In the CSV file, there's a column called Y, and I want to use this column as the target variable. I want to display regression coefficients, e stats, and r square in a table in the end. I hit enter. And then at this moment, it's going to make an API call to Mistral AI agent to write the code for me in Python. And then it's going to ask me whether I want to execute this code or not. And once I say yes, it will be able to run the code on my behalf. So this way we are able to create a very powerful calculator. And the calculator essentially is at the tip of our fingers and it will basically run the calculation for us. So let's examine the output of this chatbot a little bit. It says, sure, I can help you write a Python script that uses the stats models package to run a linear regression model on your data, so on and so forth. And then here is the Python code. Now, of course, we want to execute it, right? So here it asks us, what name do you want to say for this script? I can say, some random linear regression model on FF4 data. I hit enter, and then it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to execute the script? I say, yes, capital Y. And then you see on the left-hand side, it just created this Python script for us. And then on our main panel, look at this. It created this output for us. That's the regression results. We have coefficient, we have standard error, T stats, P value, confidence interval, you name it. And then here is the R square. So how do I know that this is not just some hallucination from Chaba, right? How do I know that this is an actual results coming out of running an actual model on an actual data set? Not to worry, right? Because on the left hand side, we have the script saved uh, literally about 40 seconds ago. So we can open that and then let me drag that to the right hand side, you can examine this code a little bit. And if you take a closer look, you realize that it's exactly same as what's created by this agent in this chatbot. So it grab all this code on the right hand side, save as a Python script, and we can execute the script for us. So to demonstrate that this script on the right hand side will create the same results as what we just see in the main panel. And what I can do is to go to a terminal window and to examine that we indeed have what we say we have. So we're going to list out all the item. And as you can see here, this is a .py script that's just been created. And then I can run a command line interface, say Python, some random linear regression model.py. And if I execute this code, it should give me exactly the same as what I have on the left-hand side. Uh, so let me run that. Boom, there you go. 
you see that this result is exactly same as what's shown on the left hand side with the same R square. So now you have the verification, right? There's no hallucination here whatsoever. The results did not come directly from the Cheba. The results come from the agent running this Python code. And this Python code is actually created by the agent based on our command. And if you don't like any of this thing here, or if you have questions, which is a totally fair thing to do, then you can come here and rewrite a code and then you can re-execute it. Or you can directly talk to it and have a rerun in here. So as a wrap up, you can say exit and that will finish the conversation. And as you can see, the cell just finished running. So there you go. Hopefully you like this episode. Uh, hopefully this episode sheds some light of the output of Mistral AI agent and how powerful it can be. And additionally, uh, I hope this episode give you some insights of the huge upside potential of building agent-based platform so that you can converse with your data set and you can converse with an agent that is acting as data scientist on your behalf. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.